Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here. In this episode of Tech Chop, we're talking about website enumeration. Website enumeration. What? No? Okay. This episode of Tech Chop is brought to you by GoToMeeting with HD Faces. Welcome to episode 20 of Tech Chop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, aka twitter.com slash Pablo. In this episode, we're going to take a look at doing what is called in the network security biz, enumeration. If you are a noob, enumeration is the act of performing some pre-hacking reconnaissance on your target. I mean, when you go to rob a bank, you don't just run in and ask for the keys to the vault. I mean, you can, but you're probably going to get caught. No, successful bank robbers case the joint first. They look for vulnerabilities, then they perform the heist. The same can be said for hacking. I mean, you don't just one day say, I'm going to hack server X. You first need to know what you're going to hack. Enumeration allows us to kind of do a pre-hack scan on things to find out what platform or software the target server is running and gives us the necessary jump start to research vulnerabilities for that software once we know it. Before we go any further, let's take a short break for our weekly news brief. Google, in an awesome act of censorship, revealed they had removed around 640 videos from YouTube last year that allegedly promoted terrorism. They removed the videos due to complaints from the UK's Association of Chief Police Officers. China has recently completed their first manned space docking. The name of the Chinese spacecraft is called the Shenzhou 9 and carried a crew that included China's first female astronaut. On a slightly less exciting note, the fact that the spacecraft was manned really made no difference because the docking procedure was still controlled remotely from the ground. Andrew James Miller, a computer hacker that allegedly hacked into computer networks in Massachusetts and around the country, was arrested in Pennsylvania by the FBI. Miller is alleged to have broken into several different companies' networks and stolen network credentials for those networks. He and his co-conspirators then turned around and sold the credentials for some cold hard cash. If convicted, Miller is looking at a maximum of 15 years in prison, a $250,000 fine, and restitution. Finally, Linus Torvalds is back in our news brief again, this time because of his recent response to NVIDIA during a speaking engagement at the Aalto University in Finland. Check it out. And I'm also happy to very publicly point out that NVIDIA has been one of the worst trouble spots we've had with hardware manufacturers. And that is really sad because NVIDIA tries to sell chips, a lot of chips, into the Android market. And NVIDIA has been the single worst company we've ever dealt with. So NVIDIA, ah! you. <laughs> As you can see in this video, his frustration basically comes from NVIDIA's utter lack of interest in supporting Linux. News for the weekly news brief is taken right from our Tech Chop Daily Paper Lead page, available at news.techchop.com. Don't forget that you can sponsor your own news brief for only $10 by clicking the donate button in the sidebar at techchop.com. Got something to say? We'll be your 30 second podium for only $10. Tech Chop! Right, so at the beginning of the show, I gave you a brief rundown on enumeration and why you would use it. Basically, if you want to hack, say, the Tech Podcast Network site, before you jump in, you might want to know what kind of software and what version of it you're up against before diving in head first. The tool I'm going to show you is a Linux command line tool called Nikto. And like the software mentioned in the last few episodes, it is pre-installed on Bowerpunty Linux. Nikto is produced by Chris Solo and David Lodge. It's an open source web server scanner and performs all sorts of comprehensive tests against web servers. When running a scan with Nikto, not only will it tell you information about the web server if it can find it, it can also tell you stuff like if a web server is behind a load balancer or not. It can list version specific problems. It can even test how good your intrusion detection system is by running scans that try to bypass the IDS. On top of it all, the basic scanning of web servers with Nikto is pretty easy, and I'll show you how it's done right after this. Let me ask you a question. Do you walk down dark alleys at night? Heck no. It's dark. 
you're creepy, and the people you run into are hard to see. It's hard to trust people we can't see. Fast forward to the business world. You have employees and clients all over the world. You hear them on the phone, but you can't see those jokers either. How the heck are you supposed to trust them? That can certainly be a big hurdle. That's why I recommend GoToMeeting with HD Faces. Forget trying to do stupid voice conferences over the telephone, where you know the guy on the other end isn't paying attention because he's too busy checking Facebook. Instead, why not jump onto an online meeting with Group HD Video? You can see their face, they can see yours, get better connected, you know the deal. With GoToMeeting by Citrix, all you need is a webcam and a clickety-clack to instantly collaborate in real time. People can join your meeting from anywhere in the world. And if you're one of those Apple fanboys that likes to hang out at coffee shops pimping your iPad, you can do it from there as well with the GoToMeeting's iPad app. It's like taking a few slices of wind, slathering it with wind sauce, putting it between two slices of wind, and then eating a wind sandwich. We often use GoToMeeting at my day job, and I ask the sales folks to tell me why they like GoToMeeting. Here's a couple of sparkling reviews. Julie says, I love GoToMeeting and I've had very few connectivity issues. Meeting setup is fast and efficient. It is also very easy for clients to log in. And Robert said, our experience with other services is that a large portion of our customers and prospects have issues connecting to the meeting. We have never experienced this with GoToMeeting. Start hosting your own face-to-face -face online meetings today with GoToMeeting. Tech Shop viewers can try it free for 30 days. Don't wait for the special offer. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PODCAST. Be sure to use the promo code PODCAST. For today's purposes, I'll be showing you two simple scans. One will give you basic information about a web server, and the other will give you basic information about a web server while trying to bypass an intrusion detection system. There are tons of options with Nikto, which I'll let you look up yourself. The first scan we'll do is a simple enumeration scan. In this example, I'm running it against the Tech Podcast Network site. The command to use is nikto -h for host, then the IP address or domain name. The default port used is port 80. If we also add the -c all option, it also forces a scan of virtual directories under the domain. As you can see from the scan, techpodcast.com is running on Ubuntu Linux running Apache 2.2.14 with PHP 5.3.2, along with a lot of other useful information that a hacker might be able to use to exploit their system. If we're having a problem with, say, an intrusion prevention system blocking these sorts of scans, we can attempt to get around it by running the previous command with the minus evasion 1 at the end. There are actually nine different evasion flags, and number one is for random URI encoding. A great way to use this tool, and the one I recommend, is to run scans against your own web servers. You'll find that Nikto isn't just for Apache servers. You can find out a lot about vulnerabilities in your Windows web servers as well. It's important to see what holes you have and fix them before the bad guys can find them. That's all I have for this episode. If you have any questions, hit us up on our Facebook page or sound off in the comments below. Don't forget to like, fave, and subscribe. If you haven't yet, for you Android users, check out our free app available on Google Play. We'll see you next week right here on Tech Chop.